known as one of the greatest artists of the High Renaissance, a time of great intellectual and artistic revival in Italy. Leonardo da Vinci remains as one of the most popular historical figures today. A restless master artist who studied a variety of disciplines, da Vinci's vast interests and expertise included painting, sculpture, anatomy, geology, and engineering, a fact that makes him worthy of the title as a true Renaissance man. His influential artworks, albeit few and far apart, would become a great source of inspiration for many artists in Europe even beyond his lifetime. Behind his famous persona as both an artist and a scientist, here are six interesting facts about Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci was an illegitimate child. In the town of Vinci within the region of rural Tuscany, da Vinci was born as the love child of a notary lawyer by the name of Ser Piero and a simple peasant named Caterina. His parents would eventually have a total of 17 other children with different partners, making all of them da Vinci's half-siblings. An uncle who had a distinct love for nature helped raise him, but he was sent to Florence in his teens to become an artist's apprentice. He did not receive any formal education. Da Vinci was first trained as a musician with the lyre instrument and was simply homeschooled as a young child. His father appreciated his artistic inclinations and decided to send him to train under a famous artist at the time. He trained under the Florentine painter Andrea del Verrocchio and spent days observing nature, which prominently featured in his works. His over 10 years of training allowed him to refine his techniques until he moved on to become an independent artist. Da Vinci was ambidextrous. To be ambidextrous means having the ability to use both the left and right hands for complex tasks with equal ease. Leonardo was known to have been able to write with one hand and draw with another at the same time. He developed a system of writing backwards to note down his important findings and to hide secret messages decipherable only through a mirror. He also invented a special version of shorthand writing that only he can understand, perhaps to make it harder for other people to steal his ideas. The Mona Lisa is in fact smiling. Using face recognition software, researchers from the University of Illinois and the University of Amsterdam determined that the subject of the painting is 83% likely to be happy. Originally titled La Gioconda, the portrait is believed to depict either Mona Lisa Gerardini, a local courtesan, or Lisa del Giocondo, the wife of a rich Florentine merchant. A recent theory even suggests that Mona Lisa was being entertained by clowns and musicians while Leonardo was painting her. Da Vinci was a military engineer. Apart from his amazing paintings, Da Vinci also made extensive detailed drawings of helicopters, aeroplanes, parachutes, armor tanks, automatic rifles, and other lethal siege weapons. These demonstrate his technical drawing skills and aptitude for engineering. There exists no proof if these drawings were ever built, but the painstaking amount of detail only shows how much da Vinci thought about these inventions. His philosophy in life included the belief that art and science are complementary rather than polar opposites of each other. Da Vinci was almost executed. At the age of 24, Da Vinci was arrested along with three of his male companions on the allegations of sodomy, a crime punishable by death in 15th century Florence. 
it was unknown who accused him and homosexuality was considered illegal at the time. His name was associated with a local male prostitute and this has caused Da Vinci to become the center of a minor scandal. His case was dismissed when no witnesses came forward during the court hearings. One more reason why the charges could have been dropped was because one of the defendants was a distant relative of the then powerful Edici family. Regardless of the controversies, Leonardo da Vinci remains as one of the most important artists and thinkers of all time. A master artist with a scientific mind, the attention to detail in his art and his scientific ideas were centuries ahead of its time. His creations demonstrate a sharp observation of nature, thorough understanding of compositional balance, and great knowledge of anatomy and perspective. His contributions to both art and science are truly remarkable. What do you think of Leonardo's life story? Who is your favorite Renaissance artist? Let us know in the comment section. Thank you for watching Artlister, your source of information and inspiration to live a creative life. Give us a thumbs up if you liked this episode and subscribe for more videos on art, design, and creativity. See you in the next video!